dive into that vault of ours and in mid-April 23 years ago the match of the round was between St George and Manly at the Sydney Cricket Ground. There was plenty of good play in ideal conditions but the match was remembered more for its controversy than for its football. Steve Rebilliard takes us back. This was a round three clash, Manly having won its first two games. St George had had a win and a loss. A Bob Batty penalty goal saw the Sea Eagles up 2-0. Great kick by Batty. But after 10 minutes, St George answered. The Dragons test half Billy Smith was missing that day, but Peter Turner proved an admirable stand-in. Branson, loose defence, and Turner will score. Bob Fulton looked most dangerous for Manly in attack, but bad luck and good defence were keeping his team trialless. Could be, no, the ball over the dead ball line. Late in the first half, Saints took a stranglehold on the match with three tries. One to Ken Madison and two to Johnny King. Thompson misses. Madison, Madison will score. Good break. Branson. Preston. Preston has he the pace. Raper has Brantley outside. Beef, King, Raper, Turner, Wittenberg, Beef, Wittenberg, over the halfway, Turner, Turner's clear, Branson, and King will score his second try. The Dragons were up 18-2 early in the second half when controversy took centre stage. Norman May explains. Now watch now as the ball moves across field. That's Preston now number one. It's intercepted by Fulton. Preston goes in to assist in the tackle. And watch him pull Fulton's head back. He protests now to the referee that he's been bitten on the arm and watch that Fulton removes his mouth guard and indicates to St George players that he can't bite. The result here, a penalty against Preston. Manly landed the penalty, but Saints were only briefly put off their stride. Johnny Raper and Ken Madison put the finishing touches to a miserable day for Manly. Five tries to nil, and 27-6 the final score. Second try. 